Well, hey guys, I thought I'd take a minute and do a, uh, what turns out to be a really cool comparison between the 7mm08 and the 308. And if you guys followed my channel in the past, you know I'm a huge 308 fan, right? So I grew up with it. And the more I expanded into different cartridges, the more I would just always come back to the 308 as just a super efficient, really, I don't know, just kind of a cornerstone to me of cartridges. And of course, we're talking about a 7mm08, which is based off that case. So one of the things as we got further along with Project Little 7 that I wanted to do once I got more data, once I understood more about that case, because 7mm08 is new to me, is that I wanted to compare some of the outcomes with my 308 outcomes that, that I've, you know, I've been loading for the 308 for 35 plus years. And uh, so I have a ton of data, right? And real world outcomes and 7mm08 is new. So I'm finally getting some real world outcomes. So I just kind of wanted to do a quick comparison and I kind of knew in my mind how this would turn out, but it's really cool once you put it on paper. So let me just uh, flip the camera around and show you guys this comparison and then we'll chat a little bit more about it. So here we are looking at the 7M08 with 160 grain Nosler ballistic tip. If you've been watching the project, you know that this is where we kind of ended for 160 grain offering. So I plugged in uh, what we were able to get, which is right at 2700. Um, it was it was just right in there, you know, 2705. When I averaged several different um, shots across the chronograph, this is about where we were at. Okay, and I set all the other variables um, kind of fit where I hunt, how I hunt, and how I would probably set this up that type of zero range. 225 yards and so here's the outcome okay we're talking about a really good choice for the way I hunt where my shots are 300 to 350 max you can see that we've got plenty of energy to 400 for elk almost to 500 really and trajectory wise we're really flat to 300 with that 225 yard zero and uh, 400s where you start to see things drop off. So no surprises there. That's just a very efficient, cool cartridge, okay? So then we run over here and we look at the 308, okay? All the variables are the same except this is a different bullet. This is a 165 grain bullet in the 308, okay? So a little bit less BC, a little heavier bullet, and I have um, my favorite load for that with Varget for years has been getting me about 2750 at the muzzle. And these are both 22 inch barrels, okay? Fair, compare, you know, let's be fair, right? Let's use 22 inch on both. And so when you plug that in, it's shocking how almost identical it is to the 7M08 with 160s. Okay, so over here at 300 yards, we're six inches low. Over here at 300 yards, we're 5.9 low. Okay, at 300 yards here, we've got 1,925 foot pounds. At 300 yards here, we've got 1,867 foot pounds. Okay, look at the 500 energy 1481 on the 7M08. 1484 on the 308. So I'll just get them both in the screen there at the same time. And if you want to uh, freeze the screen and study that, you can. So what are my conclusions um, in this 160 grain class? Uh, if you already have a 308 and you love it, don't go get a 7M08 and vice versa. If you already have a 7M08 and you love it, don't go get a 308. Nearly identical. Uh, well, also, I'm not feeling any recoil difference 
and similar weight rifles, okay? Well, some people will say, well, the 7mm weight's a little lighter recoiling. Uh, I'm sure it is, but to the person, you're, you're not really going to notice that difference. Um, I guess, you know, this isn't really much of a surprise, right? Now, I would say I haven't run this on the heavier bullets, on the 175 for the 708 and the 180 for the 308. But based on the outcomes, that's where the 308 might start to pull away a little bit. Because with the 175s, I was getting, I, I couldn't get to 2600 with the 708. With the 308 and 180s, I, I can break 2600 pretty easily. And so I think there's probably 100 feet per second more that the 308 is capable of with the 180s than the 708 is capable of with the 175s. So if you ran that out, I think you'd see a little bit of a bump there for the 308. But again, not not very much, very similar. So what's going to be great now is as we get into the lighter bullets to see what happens, right? We're going to get into the 150s, the 140s in the 708. And I have a ton of 150 data um, with the 308. So we'll do a similar comparison down the road, right? We'll look at that. And then when we go lighter, when we get into the 120s with the 708, I can compare that to my 125s that I run in the 308. It's just going to be fun to see. But in this 160, 165 class, basically identical. All right, guys. So one little thing to know is between the weather and me starting a new job tomorrow, there could be a window of time here where I'm not able to put up much content, but it is what it is. And we'll be in close touch as all of it moves forward.